This is Commander Shepard. Welcome to RoboFet's Bounty. Don't make him like that anymore. Bit late. Bounty, and today we're going to talk about some killer clans again or new killer clans products I have I do own digitally the killer clowns game this was released a couple of days ago it is digital only it hasn't got a physical release if you like the games like Friday the 13th Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Evil Dead these kind of you're the survivor or you're the horror icon character and you've got a one-on-one -on -one or four on four just kill each other you'll love this game definitely go and check it out so here we have the amazing Killer Clans and Matter Space Steelbook. It's the 35th anniversary. Look at them special features. 4K scan of the original camera negative. So let's crack this open and have a close look. So let's take off the J card first. Generic J card. So here we have the front. There at the back. I think this is a contender for the best steel book I own. Got some mark inside. Two discs. There we have the Ultra 4K. Let's get the other one out. Here we have the Blu-ray. There are the four clans, so there's many clans in it. But that is a fantastic steel book, and it's supposed to be a fantastic transfer. Let's go back to me. So that steel book is absolutely fantastic. I think that's the third Kid of Clans steel book I've got, and there's a few more available. It's already commanding a hundred pound on eBay. It's only been released for a few more weeks. But it's not the only new Killer Clans products I've got. I've also got three Trick or Treat Studios figures. These are more like vinyl statues because the articulation is just the hands and some of the head. So this is Fatso. I'll stick them on the um, rotating platform at the end. So there's Fatso. Here we've got Shorty. Pretty cool figure. And Slim. So that's my new Killer Clowns items. So what I'm going to do, at the end of this video or now, I'm going to add the Funko Pops that I did on my last video and merge into one Killer Clowns awesome video. Check it out. So the first one of the Pops we have is the rarest one. This is a character called Slim. It's a full 2019 Comic Con limited edition. I think it's the flocked one. 
and that's the not characters that are going to be coming out but obviously some of the ones from the film obviously we'll open these up at the end this is pop 822 so there is the character slim So here you have Shorty, the smallest of the killer clowns. He's the boxing one. As you can tell, these are the other characters that are going to be potentially available in this line. You have Shorty, Spikey and Jumbo. As I said before, they don't look like normal pops. There's a lot more detail to these dudes. So there is the second pop, Shorty. Take a ride, pal. Can I beep the horn? <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So here you have the tubby fella Jumbo. Now we all thought we was gonna get one pop and now we're on three at the moment. Are they gonna release them all? So you got the same characters on the back. He's got his mallet hiding behind his back, kind of enticing potentially little children to their deaths.
And the final one that got released, we have Spikey. He's got his balloon, balloon dog there in his green starry jumpsuit. Another really cool character. Evil, mean looking dude. You want to meet him on a dark alley. So there is Spikey. So when a pop gets released, mainly like horror ones or video games, you get one character. Now we got Slim and I was happy to just get Slim. But then we had the four and it's like, well, that's it. Four, you know, we don't get loads more. That That is going to be it. They're surely not going to release any more pops. And on my travels recently, I found out they made these ones also. The first one I found was in the World's Apart store up here in Liverpool. It's a franchise of Forbidden Planet. So we have Rudy here, he's a kind of poster child. Now it's the character that's on the box art, he's not in the film much. This is kind of like a, a new thing for Funko where you get the, the pop itself and you get the poster. But these are screwed in so these aren't removable. But you know for 20 quid, it's a character I don't have. So that's Rudy. And that's the original box art we got for the film. But we'll get him open at the end, if we can. So Rudy was the first one that I didn't even know they released. Also in the last few weeks, we got the baby clown. These obviously come from the popcorn kernels that I guess grow into these kind of wormy looking clowns to then mutate into the clowns we see halfway through the film. That's the baby clown in the popcorn bucket. And it's got some other ones, which you're not going to see yet, that got released. Scale wise is obviously much bigger than it should be. This is a problem in this line. You see some of the later clans are much smaller compared to how big they are in the film. So there you have the baby clown. This is what I mean by size. This one come out at the same time as the baby clam. But it's very small compared to, so like Jumbo. And I think they're the same kind of size in the film. So this is Fatso. Comes with a gun with kind of a puppet on and a box of chocolates. So he's pop number 1423. Again, when they're all lined up, they're going to look really, really cool together. So there we have Fatso. For me? Oh. oh, shit. Is this from you? Oh. The next one is a Funko Web exclusive. We got Bibbo. 
I, to be honest, I don't remember this guy in the film. Maybe it's just a clown they made. Just, I don't know, background character. He's got a a pie there. So I think he's one of the clowns that pies the cop halfway through the film. Again, same packaging. I put this in a hard protector. These are quite cool to display your better pops. I said the only pops I collect are these ones. But there we have Bibbo. Pizza! So here we have all the clowns in their awesome glory, apart from Rudy. As I said, this one in the glass cabinet on the back of it, we've got a little kind of screw that's screwed into his back of his head because he's very top heavy and he's mounted on this stand. So he could potentially get a second one to undo it. But unfortunately, it will just stay in this packaging, potentially just in the background because we can't really do much with him, which is an issue. But as you can see, the scale. You've got the tiny one here. It's a really, really cool detail on these. You know, they don't look like Funkos. They look like cool little action figures. But you compare them to Jumbo, in the film they're the same kind of size. It doesn't make any sense. So Jumbo here, with Bilbo, I think his name was. He said they're pretty much the same sculpt in the face. But that's the newer one that's just, it's literally just been released. And this one has got the mallet behind his back. Now these are really, really cool figures. Here we've got Shorty again. A lot, some of these you can pick up from say twelve ninety nine. But obviously the dearest one, this dude here, is a pretty penny. And the good thing about pops, you can pretty much remove them from the packaging and put, still have a mint on card because they just slip into the top so you see through balloon dog there and yeah it's got a little bit more character than your generic pop vinyls i think they're a really really cool part of my collection and i recommend anyone that's into the films pick all these up because they're they're good fun So we've seen the pops. Here we have one of the imported copies of the film I've got. So let's get it open. We have the, some art cards there. Let's get them to one side. So there is the front of the box. This is a multi-region disc. There we go there. Comes with a few art cards. Let's go through these quickly. I think these are some covers from different countries that's what i remember i think from the uk one originally got two of them there we go shame you didn't get none of these in the uk release is that one of the clans i've got i think that is jumbo the only way to kill these clans is to blow their noses up there was a plan for a sequel, or they've trademarked the title, I think, on Kidder Clowns 2 in 3D. So we might get that one day. That's a very famous scene there, which I showed you earlier on. There's Rudy there. It's just plain old postcards. So that's the first version I have of Killer Clowns. Many still books available, but this is the one that really got my attention. Really, really like the artwork on that. And inside the original disc, 
doesn't come with a booklet, but I have got this booklet that was in the Arrow release, it's the UK release. So it's got some information about the film, a bit of art, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this Killer Clowns video. And yeah, I don't know where we're going to go next. Maybe we do uh, another Critters video because I've got some more additions to that. But yep, Killer Clowns, if you haven't seen it, go and see it. Fantastic film. I'll put a trailer now and we'll see you very, very soon. It was a night like any other night. Then something happened. You see that? Something different. It's no shooting star. Why here? Why now? Why clowns? <laughs> They've been knocking them dead all over the universe. What are you going to do? Knock my block off? <laughs> Soon they'll be doing it at a theater near you. Killer clowns from outer space. Pizza. Uh -huh. <laughs> Maybe they're just cruising through the galaxy and stopped here for a bite to eat. You don't need a police bell, you need a psychiatrist. Uh -oh. They want to play games? They're messing with the wrong guy. What are you in for? Killer clowns from outer space. It's crazy.